Welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Phil Manson. The big idea of Psalm 122 is worship. And today we look at the third reason why the worship of the Lord is critical to our walk with Christ. In worship, our attention is centered on the decisions of God. Verse 5 says, Here stand the thrones where judgment is given, the thrones of the dynasty of David. Often when we think of judgment, we think of punishment. Peterson says it might help to think of judgment as the decisive word by which God straightens things out and puts things right. Judgment is a word that does something, like doing justice or applying mercy, nullifying wrong or ordering goodness. Every time we worship, we hear the Holy Spirit speak truth. We are informed by what God says, by what he has decided. What God says in worship which is the spiritual dimension, should influence the thrones, that is, civil government, where judgment is decided. In other words, in God's dream economy, there's no separation of temple and throne, no separation of church and state. Separation of church and state might be the American way, but for the Lord, he intended that the right ordering of family and civil life begin with the worship of his righteous, true, just, and holy name, submitting to his authority. And this takes us back to reason number one for worship. It gives us a workable structure, a workable framework for life. And we wonder why our nation is in such chaos. Worship centers our attention on the decisions of God. Let's pray together. So, Father, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. We've discovered that we do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from your mouth. Your word is a sure word. You are the God who keeps your word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And by your Word all things came into being, and by your Word all of creation is sustained. Your Word is life. But it seems that all we see and hear is noise and chaos and hatred and injustice. And mainly from those claiming to want justice. Your eyes see every motive. Your ear hears every outer word. And you judge every heart. We declare and believe with the martyrs who've gone before us that true and just are your judgments, O Lord. And so, Father, open our ears to hear your word as we worship with your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.